Here we are. 8th of October, 2018. October! Long jump! Yabba dabba doo! And here is William and Matt plotting a course <laughs> for, for tomorrow morning. Weather looks good. Yeah. Heading down to Lyme Regis and hoping to make my old stomping ground in Cromer for some Cromer crab and... <laughs> And biscuits, and calling on some of my mates. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we're uh, a bit late getting uh, getting ready. Just sorting out the. Uh, All right, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of time. Loads of time. Okay. Well, a beer before we go then. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we are. Uh, half an hour later, we're at Matt's lockup in uh, East Hoseley. Um, loading up the loading up the balloon. There's William knackered, look, trying to look cool with some glasses on. He's and, and there's uh, and there's Matt having done all the hard work lifting uh, nine <laughs> tanks into the into the basket, and uh, that should be enough gas to get them as far as uh, Norfolk. Norfolk. He hopes. Oh bloody hell! Have I got to drive all that way? <laughs> Here we are. We've made it down into Dorset. Uh, there, we've got as far as the pub and the first pint. Uh, there. We haven't found the B&B yet, but we've got a rough idea where it is. Uh, uh, Will, have you got anything to say about the uh, uh, the weather tomorrow? Uh, there? Uh, the weather's uh, looking spot on. Yeah. Uh, clear skies, yeah. good uh, gradient wind between 25 28 knots. Yeah. In the right direction, good bit of steerage lower down. We're oh, having crabs for dinner in no time. Crabs for dinner in no time, that's yeah. great. And what about you, Matt? It's first time in the long jump, eh? Hey? Well, oh, you, yeah, I'm still technically at PUT. So yeah, you're gonna, are you going to be yet. shitting yourself in the morning, a bit, a bit nervous about no, it? No, no. You'll, you'll be furious. It's just, it's just another flight, but longer, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing major. Yeah, it's the local cider like that. You're, uh, very good. Very good, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Good competition, yeah. Also, Orchard's first press, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Not quite as good as Ascension. But, oh, no, obviously, yeah. obviously, yeah. So oh, let me just have a... a, a, a oh, yeah, 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 Ascension side. <laughs> so, it's October 2018 and it's time for the long jump again. This time we're down in Dorset for a start. Over 200 miles is the plan. Over 300 kilometres, hopefully, too. Um, I'm here with Peter. I think that's the beer talking. He's, <laughs> he's going to go 10, 10, 10 miles tomorrow before he bails out and comes down. It's all, it's all talk, you know. It's all talk. <laughs> Expert, international recovery uh, driver. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, uh, I'm not, I'm, I've, I've never done this before because normally I've got to retrieve myself, but this time, I'm first time ever retrieving in a long jump. <laughs> Oh, um, God. oh but, well, at, uh, least, at least he's buying me a, a good cider or two. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm here with Matt as well, yeah. notoriously known as the tallest PUT in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Soon not to be PUT yeah, yeah, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and we're just off to my good friend Graham's parents' place now in little village of Chiddock in Dorset, where we're going to spend the night in their B&B and then take off from their field in the morning. Yeah. So we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Comfy beds and fast winds, good times. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Morning uh, campers, uh, no, uh, Tuesday 9th of October, 7.30am. Uh, the ambulance is already called. Uh, uh, euphoria has disappeared uh, this morning. Uh, we're just unloading balloon and trailer. Uh, the, uh, William is strapping his nine tanks, ten tanks, around the, uh, around the basket. Uh, and here's Howard, our very kind host uh, uh, there who's also uh, giving us a hand. We're expecting any minute now, my nephew Tom, uh, coming down the main road, but that was probably the police, that siren was probably the police chasing him because he was speeding down from uh, Exeter. Uh, here's Tom Snittler, just arriving uh, in time. Um, good timing, Tom. I just got the, uh, the envelope laid out. Here's, here's Geraldine and Howard uh, giving us a hand, our kind hosts. And, uh, oh my God, look at that, oh for Christ's sake, look at those tanks, oh Jesus. Uh, well, I suppose uh, they did have two big burgers last night, uh, just the extra tank would have, would have been okay uh, there with things. Right, ready for inflation. Okay, a bit of a windy inflation, but sitting nicely now. Uh, Matt just had in his uh, uh, tiny bit of weight for the ballast. Let's 
Tom putting his weight on. A bit gusty, but it's calmed down now for the uh, uh, inflation. Here we are, leaning over, but reasonably stable for uh, uh, ready for a nice uh, long jump. That's it. Here we go. Discovery's had a little uh, pop about. lift. Have a lot of false lift. Very heavy. There they go. Keep burning. Uh, good thing we chose a nice long field. Hell of a lot of false lift. Now they're climbing. There we go. Now we're off. Off on an epic journey. See you in Norfolk, boys. Have a good flight. Hey. Bit of a hairy takeoff, but we're on our way now. Oh, sorry, it's already close there. And there was the sea, so we couldn't get much closer. <laughs> Up we go. Currently 1,000 feet. Need to climb. Good morning everyone. So here we are. We are at 2,700 feet. We're currently uh, got a brilliant heading. We had a nice time talking to Yeovilton. Uh, flew through their Matt's stub and the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we've gone through two tanks already. We're an hour and 15 into the flight. We're onto our third tank. That was kind of expected though. We were heavy. Yeah, we were very heavy. And we've got a uh, lot more gas to go through, so we're good. Hi, man. 24 knots. Perfect. <laughs> so you can see on the map here, this is where we took off from down here somewhere. So we've gone over Yeovilton. We're now going to skim the edge of the danger area. Let's confirm your final destination is Norfolk. Uh, yes, that's correct. That's our intention, over. Roger. <laughs> he was obviously quite entertained to hear that we're going to Norfolk. <laughs> well, we better make it there now. Yeah, yeah. He's going to tell everyone. Told people now. Oh, yeah. Here we are again. Um, around the danger area. Bryce Norton, John Rose, good friend of mine, and he he spoke to them this morning. Cleared us through there. Hopefully, that is the wash. So our plan, yeah, north of Luton. This is Luton. And then up to here somewhere. Fingers crossed. Long way to go. Look how beautiful it is. So here's my little workstation. I've now moved to Boscombe Down on the radio. Got a little script here that helps me speak to them. The air map, which helps. There's the tanks out there. And there's the iPad with the electronic mapping. We're doing perfectly there. And we're currently just flying overhead Longleat, where we were a couple of weeks ago at the Sky Safari. Uh, a bit quieter now than it was then. Peter has supplied us with a lovely packed lunch. Cheers, Peter. Hi, good times. Greatly appreciated. Currently overhead Westbury. Uh, Key was a bit further beyond, where I remember landing a couple of weeks back when we flew from Longleat. Had a lovely reception there. And there's the Salisbury Plain. No go! We've we'll skimmed nicely around the edge of it. And I've just emptied my third tank. Come on! <laughs> 25 knots. I'll take that. Stonking around. Uh, Currently overhead devices, all of the locks there. 
Right, hi. Um, here's an update on uh, the, the long jump flight, uh, Williams long jump flight, uh, 9th of October. Uh, they've been going for about two hours now uh, there, um, doing very well uh, there. Just had a message from William. Uh, the head for Salisbury and Marlborough. Salisbury? Bloody hell, if I'd have known it had been this dangerous, uh, I'd have brought my NBC suit from uh, that uh, nuclear, biological, chemical suit that I'd still got from my RAF days. God, bloody dangerous. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then, he's, then, he's, then he's just uh, telling me that uh, he's going to drop four tanks in a field near Marlborough. Could I pick them up, please? Bloody hell! Oh, Jiminy Cricket! Uh, there, uh, uh, any of uh, William's mates out there, you, you know, who get asked to do this for him in future? Think, think, think twice. Think twice. Uh, uh, there, uh, there. You know, you might think it's a bit dodgy flying up there, thirty knot winds, uh, trying to get all the way up the the country. But I'll tell you what. They got it easy. Damn sight more dangerous down here driving on the roads. Uh, there you can hear all the cars absolutely zatting past. And on top of that, going to Salisbury. Right, head down, handkerchief off, I'm on. So we are three hours in now. I'm going to hold my phone with two hands because I need to drop it over the side once already. <laughs> oh, shush. She's a lovely lady. So we're in Bry's airspace now. We've been welcomed very nicely. She said she'll give me clearance if I need it uh, into their airspace. Wow, she's very busy. <laughs> so we've just crossed the M4. So that's one milestone. Yeah. Next milestone, what? The M1, should we say? Yeah, M1 yeah. or something like that. Um, we can truly start celebrating when we see the sea, I think. Mm. Oh, that'd be great. If we, that'd be great, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd love to see the sea. We've dropped our tanks. In yeah. A spectacular fashion. Didn't get to film that at all, but. No. 19 well. knots on the ground, nice and low, level flying <laughs> over a field, and uh, bombs away! Let them all four, all four of the outside went, tanks yeah. go at once, which works very well. Yeah. We're now flying much lighter and lovely. Something Branson couldn't get right. <laughs> He dropped it before you took off, didn't he? <laughs> and they take off one less. Once. Yeah, yeah. The lovely city of Oxford. We've now been up for nearly, nearly four hours. Three hours, 40. And we're at Oxford, yeah. Looking absolutely beautiful. A lovely day for it. Hi, viewers. Uh, I guess you're getting fed up with all that euphoria and the bloom basket, or high spirits, high jinks, and everything. And you'd like to know now. You'd like to know a little bit more about the uh, reality of of life on the ground, on the retrieve uh, there. All oh, right. Okay. Well, it, it, uh, here's the deal. It started like this. Call from William on Sunday. I'm thinking of flying on Tuesday. Oh yes, William. Um, morning or or evening. All day, actually. All day? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, there. Well, where are you flying from? Uh, Hellingly? No, I'm going to Cornwall. Oh, Jesus, William, that's a hell of a drive. Uh, uh, there. Yes, yeah, yeah, he said. And um, thinking about driving, you know my old van is uh, absolutely knackered, don't, uh, don't you, yeah? And uh, I reckon I can't tow the trailer with the uh, with a motorbike, could I? Um, uh, could we use your uh, discovery uh, then? Oh, all right, William. Yeah, no problem. Uh, then uh, uh, there, uh, uh, let's go for it. Uh, there. Oh, um, and by by the way, uh, I'm think I'm thinking of dropping a few tanks off on, on uh, from the basket to to lighten the load when I'm flying. W would you mind picking them up as well? Oh, chimney cricket, William. Uh, uh, there. Uh, well. Have a, look, have a look here, viewers. Here we are, four 60-litre uh, tanks in the middle of a ruddy field, and, uh, uh, and, and I've, got, I've, I've got to carry them out, all on my tod. Lots of fun, sun's still shining. Beautiful if no day. If nothing else, we're going to get a great tan from this. Uh, we've currently gone 126 miles. I did think it would be more than that, but deceptive, really, I guess. Uh, but we're pretty happy with our efforts so far and we've got another 
three hours of gas, so long may it continue. What's that? So 20, well, let's, uh, so we sh let's hope we make 200 miles then. Yeah, yeah. If we've done 126 miles and we've got 28 knots, we keep that up for the next three hours. My calculations, miles an hour is pretty close to knots. 90 odd miles. Car speed testing track. Yeah. Top secret, gonna sell their results to Honda. Just flying past Cardington sheds. There used to be a few uh, balloon events there. They've inflated several balloons inside. One of my earliest memories. Have a load of balloons up in there. Did you go? Yeah. How yeah. many? My dad and my granddad. Did they one of them inflate their balloons or? We just um, everyone want to watch. I'm not sure. I think Steve Coates might have done. He was quite a prolific guy. How many did they have yeah. inside? Loads. Like too many. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no. It was it was amazing though. And uh hopefully it's something we can make happen again one day. Yeah. Get everyone cool involved. Yeah. Get a petition going. Let's see why not. See AGM there or something. We are currently south of Huntington. Huntingdon. Uh, we've done over 150 miles now, so better than my attempt last year. Uh, we've cleared most of the airspace, just a few military airfields to now potentially deal with. Um, I've been pretty happy with my, my radio talk, actually. This year it's been much better than it was previously. I don't know if you've, anyone wants to watch that video from my last year's attempt. I made quite a hash of my radio talk. Not that I've actually practiced since this time last year. I've just managed to do it a bit better. I think I'm a bit more organised really uh, and Matt's been able to do the flying uh, and I'll do the nav and the radio and stuff. 31 knots just in there on the GPS. Cracking along. Oh and we just discovered, well I just kind of forgot, I think we both forgot really. Yeah. We've got another <laughs> tank of gas so pretty pleased. We were like right so we've got that 40 and that 60. Oh no wait we've got one underneath my jumper there that I haven't used so we've got that one too. Sorted. Not that we're in Norfolk yet, but the fields are getting bigger, which is perfect because we're not entirely sure what the speed is down there. Charging by them, quite fast. <laughs> but, I mean, what's the minimum speed they need to go to be moving at? Who knows? That's what it's like as a retrieve driver. Mile after mile after mile. He tells me I just had a text from him, Chroma. Oh Jesus, that's another, that's another hundred miles. Oh Lord, never mind. I hope he's going to buy me some uh, Adnams Ale when we get into Norfolk. I like an Adnams Ale, I do. I do, I do, I do. Man alive! Scared the heck out of me! <laughs> Ooh. Wonder where he's off to. As far as those props. Ooh, they're the prop on that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love how big the props. I think we just had our first spot of the sea. This is the east coast. Well, that's the wash up there. I reckon, yeah, you can see the, um, in the distance, just really faintly, you see the wind farm out to sea. So we can officially see the sea. So we we've can see the sea. seen the southwest coast, and now we're seeing the uh, east coast. The east coast. Sick. This Can't quite see it ahead of us. But we will, and we're now on 189 miles. I'm about to fly over Marham, um, Matt, which is a military air zone, air traffic zone, and this is Norwich. That's us there. Ba-ding! That's a half hour track, right? We've now moved on to our last full 60 litre tank. We've got one 20 litre tank there, so we've, we've actually, and we've got a 40 litre tank there. So we've actually got 100, 112 ish litres left. We're averaging about a litre a minute. And we're averaging about a litre a minute, so that's 
it's, a, it's an hour and a half, an hour and 40. And that's a half an hour track line. Man, you know what? I think we're going to bloody make it. It's a chroma. <laughs> half an hour. One hour. <laughs> Gonna give it a bloody good shot anyway. Currently on 199 miles from our takeoff point. Come on. Yes! Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> yes! Congratulations, mate. Well done. That's very impressive. Fucking hell. What a milestone. 200 miles. Get it. Whew. Now on to the next uh, 20, 30, 40. Who knows? Who knows how far now? Chroma, here we come. Chroma! Get that Chroma crab. Chroma crab. <laughs> uh, let's just go up to 10 past two now. Me and Matt both looking very... Echo Juliet, report your position. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Four miles west of Swanson Moor. Charlie Bravo, Echo Juliet, Norwich Radar, report your position. Yeah, this is Balloon Golf Echo Juliet. Uh, Three miles west of Swanton Morley, over. Roger, thank you. Easy. Simple. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, we are flying level now. We've done 200 and 209 miles. 209 miles now, and we're flying for seven hours in the balloon. <laughs> We've just got permission to fly through the corner of Norwich's airspace, which is going to take us neatly all the way to chroma still heading at a speed of 36 miles an hour or thereabouts we are buzzing we've got about an hour and a half of gas left we've got so we've got enough we're yeah. getting a chroma we're getting a chroma we're getting a chroma we're getting a chroma, getting a chroma. <laughs> buzzing oh such a good feeling sea's just coming properly into the distance now on the yeah. horizon there it is absolute hopefully serious. i'll do another video <laughs> before we land uh, we've got enough time, so hopefully it will, but just in case. So, there it is. There's the bloody coastline. That's the way we're headed. I'm guessing that might be Chroma there, where that white thing is. Yeah. Not far now. That white we're... thing's where they store the crabs, you see. <laughs> we've done 224 miles. And we're feeling on top of the world. Oh, yeah. We're out of controlled airspace. I'm about to sign off. That's me there. There's a village, there's another village, there's Chroma. There it is. We're heading this way and we've probably come down and head a bit left. Oh, look at the <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of dirt in the basket there. <laughs> oh. That was a bit intense. But we're down. We're good. Woo! Awesome. Not sure. Final distance, 233 miles. 233, the magic. Uh, that was pretty uh, nerve-wracking stuff. A couple of fields we couldn't take. Pigs, bloody everywhere. There's pigs just there. Probably get an angry pig farmer now, but main thing is we're down safe and sound before the sea, and we've had an epic time. And the time is just before four o'clock in the afternoon, so it's just shy of eight hours in the basket. Awesome. Made a bit of a divot there. Not a long drag though, which is a good thing yeah. really. The benefit of RDFs. Yeah. Right oh, all packed up out the field. Well the bag's still there, everything else is down there. And uh, just walking out the field. Gonna go see. The farmer, lovely access. Love it. Oh, there's a road. I thought that was a farm track. So the pigs might not even belong to the same flock. We flew pretty close to these pigs. Pigs, absolute nutters. It's a footpath, probably a footpath there. Eh? Yeah, that'll be right. I think the pub, the closest pub is that way. Just two blokes in the middle of the Norfolk countryside now, not very sure what to do. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah, not that we will sit in every night, we will go out, but it's just nice. Don't bring, don't bring, don't bring stuff first, mate. Peter's here. 
<laughs> Anything uh, to say for the camera, Peter? How's your journey been? Anything to say for the camera? Don't ever trust a bloody sat nav. <laughs> I, I dropped a ruddy pin when you told me. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we won't move. Do we? Yeah, we want yeah, to move. Okay. Yeah. There we are. All packed up. Ready to lead the field. Just like that. There we are. Oh, where was I? In the middle of the telling you about the bloody. <laughs> so I dropped the pin, yeah. yeah, and I put that on Google Maps. Follow it, you know. Uh, the Chroma. Oh, yeah, I know where Chroma is. So I'm driving up the road to Chroma. I suddenly look on the Google the Google pin, and it's oh, it's way over in Coltishaw. Oh shit! So I went down the back roads to get over to Coltishaw to follow the the. The pin, what I should have traffic. done was reset it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, will you indulge? On the way back, it's, it's, if we, can, we go through Coltishaw, it's virtually on the way back. Yeah. Uh, there. One minute, get a photo of me in front of our old house. Of course, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Indulge me on the way back. Yeah. Bit of a trip down memory lane for Peter here. Yeah. We just come back to there, call the uh, shop. That house there, Ian Hall, great mate of mine, he was a Jaguar pilot, uh, subsequently became a wing commander of a, a tornado uh, squadron. So that one there, the brigadier, he's now a brigadier, Roger Mendham lived in. <laughs> oh, so we got to get a uh, This one here was Peter Colborn, yeah? Right. That, that house there is Peter Colborn. And then the guy who comes out and helps us fly a lot. Yeah, he helps us fly a lot. And this was, this was our house here. We built that little, oh, they've had an extra, we built this, see this one on the side we had built. Let's get a... Uh, there, it is. there we are. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? <coughs> Two men. <coughs> 233 miles. <coughs> Nearly eight hours in the basket together. <coughs> and a hell of a lot of propane. That was my 2018 Great British Long Jump experience. Had an awesome time with Matt. And if you like this video, please click thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this of my other adventures, click subscribe and keep up to date. Cheers for now.